What's going on YouTube? This is NecroStevo and it's time to finally start the Lithio Battle Association League. Now my week one match is up against the California Caracostas and they are a very threatening team for several reasons. Number one, um, this is not uh, his first time in the league. I believe uh, his Twitter handle is at Ionic Costa, which I'll leave that in the description. And I'm not sure if he has a YouTube channel. I need to check on that. But um, this is not his first time in the league. So I definitely have my work cut out for me going against someone who has a little bit more experience with this format. Furthermore, he was much higher up on the uh, draft uh, seed than I was. So I was able to kind of see what he was going to be choosing, which was nice. But since he was higher than me, that also meant the, he had at least a few better picks to start off with. Because um, he definitely picked up some of the Pokemon that I use in the Indigo League of Legends. Uh, most notably, of course, he picked up Clefable, which was a huge help to me in the Indigo League of Legends. So I did not want to go up against it, because you guys know how annoying Clefable can be. Or on the other side, how destructive it can be if it gets him some calm minds. Um, his other main threats on his team... Of course, are going to be Victini, Diggersby, Lucario, and uh, Mega Alakazam. To a lesser extent, the Thunderous Eye and the Suicune, just because they have the ability to set up or at the very least be very disruptive to any momentum that I have going on. Um, but Victini is one of the main threats that I'm worried about here, just because if he carries the right coverage moves, I don't really have a good switch into it. Uh, Victini can learn Grass Knot, it can get Zen Headbutt, or use Psychic or Psy Shock. And they can also use V Create or utilize Flamethrower or Fire Blast. So, even if I cater one of my more defensive Pokemon to take its hits, that does not necessarily mean that they will be able to do so if I take the hits on the wrong side. Um, so, that means it's going to require some scouting if he does bring Vitini, which I do expect him to bring Vitini. I also expect him to bring his Lucario, just because several of my team members are weak against either Fighting or Steel. Uh, Lucario's stab against my team is pretty destructive, so I will definitely need to make sure that I take that on appropriately. Not to mention the fact that Lucario can also go special or physical. Um, I do expect him to go more specially based, just because uh, I have the capability to burn him with quite a few Pokemon. So I, I, I expect him to be more specially based, just because uh, he can use Nasty Plot, Power Up a Vacuum Wave. He could go physically based just to use Extreme Speed, but Bullet Punch is so much less effective in my opinion, than Flash Cannon, which is why I'm expecting him to go special. Um, things that I'm not worried about, as far as his, his team goes, are going to be the Gligar, the Diggersby, the Halucha, and to a lesser extent the Mega Alakazam. Uh, I have plenty of priority in the form of Weavile, and to a lesser extent Donphan, and then of course if I scarf something like Sinchino, then there is nothing he can do unless he uses priority, because Sinchino's base speed with a scarf outspeeds his whole team, barring um, some weird shenanigans from Prankster Thunderous. Now that being said, being scarfed with Sinchino might be a little bit of a trouble to be locked into, just because he has some things that can, if I get locked into, say, a tail slap, he could bring something in and set up. So I will need to be cognizant of locking myself in moves too early if I do decide to use Toy Scarf. It's also not a bad idea just to go ahead and use Life Orb on Sinchino, just because I naturally outspeed his whole team except for the Alakazam for the most part anyway. Um, Alakazam and Thunderous. Uh, Halucha is also something to take note of, but I plan on checking that very easily just by bringing unaware Quagsire. Uh, Donphan can also take care of Halucha pretty easily too. Just because I can hit it with Ice Shards, even after he sets up with Unburden. Um, I don't see him bringing Halucha just because I have Ice Shard. I also don't see him bringing Diggersby for the same reason. If he does decide to bring Suicune, I expect it to be a Crocoon variant. Um, and Mega Venusaur pretty much stops that in its tracks. Uh, and I also don't see him bringing his uh, Fortress necessarily, just because I have Fire Attacks and carry Hidden Power Fire on Venusaur. But since that is his only defensive steel type, I am still going to carry those options to check Fortress just in case I don't want to deal with it if I don't have to. Um, and so my main win conditions for this might just be having um, to rely on forcing him to switch out 
and kind of forcing him into positions where he doesn't want to be to gain information about his team. So it'll be interesting to go into this battle. I definitely think my team can win this, despite the bad matchup with uh, Lucario being on his side. Um, but it's going to be difficult. So I will definitely go into this with eyes on the prize. We're going to win this first battle. And if not, maybe it'll at least be a good battle. But there is, actually, there no, there is no if not. We're going to go into this battle definitely vying for a win. Um, me being one of the few people, this is my first time in the league. I think there are a couple other guys. This is their first time in the league. Really want to come out strong, show that I am a person to be on the lookout for. So, guys, keep an eye out. I hope that this battle goes well. And I will see you guys in the battle against the California Caracostas. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye now.